Facts, though, is uh, hosted to you. Uh, if you have that moment to spare, if you are a drug addict, an alcoholic, a refugee, if you are homeless, hungry, or member of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community, where is the offer coming from? It's from St Bride's on Percy Street in Liverpool. It's a church that has a radical vision and telling us more about it. I'm joined by Vicar of St Bride's Reverend Guy Elsmore and Kieran, is it Bohan? That's right. Bohan is here to um, share with us, a community facilitator at the church. First of all, uh, the word radical has been branded quite a lot about the venue. Why is that, Reverend Guy? Oh, good morning, Helen. Um, I suppose it's because we do <coughs> things that you may not find in the average Church of England church or in many churches. Um, we relaunched St Brides about seven years ago um, under the strapline of creative, progressive, inclusive. Uh, we had a big consultation with the local community um, to help us think about the kind of church St Brides should be becoming and really that radical vision came from that consultation sure. with the community at that and time. Kieran, that listing those activities, what do you do that other churches don't do? Well, um, that word radical is an interesting one because it literally means going back to the roots. So we're trying to just really look at the ethos of our church and what it means to be community. So um, we do uh, aim to be welcoming to anyone. We don't um, make assumptions about what people believe or how people live and expect them to to, to conform to that. I mean, I, I've been uh, uh, going there since not long after the relaunch seven years ago and I uh, um, got involved because they started sure. a monthly uh, LGBT community worship. Which and that's is because that wasn't very unusual. on offer anywhere else? No, that's right. <laughs> And and so um, so I've experienced that warm welcome for myself, and now I'm part of the team that that enables that um, for others. And and because it's been happening for seven years, why just now are you kind of you know making that voice heard a little bit louder? Do you think, Reverend Guy? Um, well, like any church, we've got a roof and uh, we've got a £330 scheme going live <coughs> next year um, with funding from Heritage Lottery to, uh, to replace the roof. So there's that just practical thing of banging the drum, drum and letting people know that uh, we're out there. But also we're at a stage of renewing the vision and trying to put fresh momentum at this sort of seven-year point. And uh, the core community of St Brides is um, working together to uh, you know, go back to that um, route of creative, progressive, inclusive, mm. to see how we're doing and see if we can push that a bit further. And what's the best part about being involved, Kieran, do you think? Because... You know, it, it's what surprised me, because for people that don't know where it is, it's on Percy Street, mm. and it dates back to 1831. That's right. Um, well, it's, um, it's, it, is a, it is an extraordinary building, which needs a little bit of TLC, but it's the, it's, it's the people that come that make it. Um, it's a, a very diverse community now, and it's, you know, seven years ago when Guy came along, there was just a, a handful meeting in a small part of the church and now it's uh we've got hundreds of people coming through the door for all the inter in activities over the course of a week um we've got um groups meeting in people's homes that you know it started with a small group of six meeting and now we've got 30 or 40 involved as a core community on a regular basis and if somebody just put their head around the door would you let them in there's no kind of set time where you've got to just come because of the session on or whatever um doors aren't open every every day for the public to come in. We try to keep the doors open as often as we can. But um, for some groups like Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous, we have um, Meringue meeting with us. And during that time, that's a women's only space for um, women asylum seekers. And so there are specific times when there are closed groups on. But we, we try to keep the door open as often as we can for people to come in. And what would you say, Kieran, is the motto of St Brides? Well, there's a slogan we've started using on social media, which is simply, um, whatever you think of church, St Brides is doing it differently. <laughs> and we have people who've come from other traditions or people who increasingly who've come who don't have much... Uh, uh, experience of other churches and are just coming to see, which is wonderful. It's great to just get a snippet from you about St Bride. Sorry that we can't talk for much longer, but what is the next event that you'd like to highlight for maybe people to come along to? We've got uh, a mindfulness course starting. Now, it is necessary to book, but all the details are on the St Bride's website, and it's an eight-week course starting with a, a taster session.
and it's on Wednesdays starting the 29th through to the 24th of June from 7.30 till 9.30. And uh, so it's a simple spiritual practice, but you don't have to be religious to take part. Uh, have you got a website that people can have a little gander at their own pleasure? www.stbridesliverpool.co.uk Brilliant. Well, many thanks. We'll leave those details for St Brides on Percy Street with our A-team. Kieran and Reverend Guy, it's been a pleasure to get you in today. Many, many thanks. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Call BBC Radio Merseyside.